Hello everyone, welcome to the .NET office. In this video we will discuss how to implement the node class in linked list or we can say how we create nodes in linked list. So in the previous video we have discussed how linked list work and how like uh, this linked list node contain the data. So as per in the previous video we have seen like every node contain two part one is the data part and another is the address part and like the address is basically uh, address of the next node and through that one in linked list we can traverse. So for implementing that one what we have to do we, let, let's create a one class in the visual studio. So in the visual studio what I have done I created a one console application and you can see that con console application here and in this class what like in this project what I'm going to do I'm going to add a one class. So for adding a class like uh, I have selected a one class and here I'm going to give the class name as node. So once I will add that uh, class so what it will do it will create a one class and in that class what we are going to do we are going to take the variable and there are two variables as per this like every node contain two parts one is the data part and another is the link part or we can say the next part so similar way we are going to define it so for that first let's make this class as a public class and next let's take some private variable so like first is the like a data variable I'm going to take. So I'm going to take a object variable because we can assign any type of the data into the linked list. So for that purpose I'm taking as a data. If your linked list as a only specific to the integer, so you can take it as a integer also. Now next variable will be the next variable and the type of this next variable will be the node only because it is a contain the address of the uh, next node. So that is the, now, now next what we have to do, we, we have to define the constructor and in this constructor like what we have to do, we have to take the values and what it will take, it will take the data like what kind of the data operation we are going to do, either we are going to delete the data or insert the data. So for that purpose we need the data and next we have to define the node like what kind of the node we are going to define it. And up now what we have to do, we have to assign the value of the data which is com uh, coming into this node. So let's take this data and this dot next equal to next. So that thing we have defined into the constructor. Now next what we have to do, we have to take public properties. So for that one, let's take public property and the public property the first one will be the object only because this is a data property we are going to take so let's take the public property this one and here i am going to give the name as a data and this will have some get set property so let's take it in that manner so what i am going to define it here so this get property basically will con like what it will return. It will return the this dot data. So this dot data it will return here. And what we have to set for set the value like what we have to do. So here this dot data what we have to define we have to define the value so in that uh, manner we have taken a one uh, property of the data now next what we have to do we have to take the next property so here I'm going to define it as a node and this name I'm going to give as a next and in this like what we have to uh, return, we have to return this dot next and in this we will assign the value. This dot next equal to value we have to assign it. Now 
So here basically we are getting even compilation error because the name is similar. So what I am going to take, I am going to define it in that in this manner and let's rename all the value. So now, now let's uh, rename every places. So it, it will be not give any compilation error. So what we have defined, we have created a one node class and that node class contain two private property. One is the data and another is the next and same we are assigning into the constructor. Like whatever the constructor value is uh, coming, we have assigned it here. And then in the same value, we have taken a properties and we are returning and setting the same value into the node. Now in the next video, we will create a one linked list class and in that one, what we will do, we will call this node and we will see like how we utilize this node into the linked list. So that's it for this video. Thank you.